Hi, year nine. Um, so today's lesson is um, about surface area and all the information that I'm using this video is from our textbook that we're using, New Century textbook. Um, before we start finding surface areas, I think we need to know a few things and one of them is a matrix units. It sounds pretty fancy, but it's not. It's just a um, few different things uh, about units, that's all. So um, there are four types of units that you need to use. First one is the length, and the next one is the capacity, and the next one is the mass and time. Now, if you look at the capacity and mass, I think you can see that, that, that you know, the diagram, the, um, it jumps by 1,000, okay? Each time it goes up the next level, next unit, it's gonna go by times by 1,000, okay? And obviously, if you go to, from bigger unit to the smaller unit, it's times by 1,000, but go backwards, reverse, it's going from smaller to bigger, it's going to be divided by 1,000, okay? So, so just remember that. And, um, so capacity and mass is just big about times by a thousand. That's not a big deal. Now the length and times is the sort of difference. So you really need to be careful about that. And important thing is you need to know the order of the um, units. So I will remember um, like a bigger unit first and then going to smaller. So what I'm trying to do here, here is I'm just gonna have a look at, I've got this fancy color. Let's go with uh, something colorful rainbow maybe. Okay. All right. So with that, um, with the length, okay, if you look at that, I think there's a kilometers, meters, centimeters, and millimeters. So we're going to go through a little uh, type, each type by type. So I'm going to look at the length here and I'm going with the kilometers and the K is a little K, just remember that, not big capital K, and meters and centimeters and millimeters, yeah? So if you do that, okay, if you do that, uh, you know that kilometers is the biggest unit and the millimeters is the smallest. Now, anything to do with the K, in front of K, little K, none of them, there won't be any big capital K, it's just a little K, it's going to be something to do with a thousand, okay, times by a thousand. So I'm going from kilometers to meters is times by a thousand, okay, times by a thousand. Now from meters to centimeters, I'm going by hundred. And the next going by 10, okay? And then if I go from smaller to B, my process will be reversed. Meaning, um, instead of timesing it, I'm going to divide it, okay? So it's gonna be like that. Okay, so that wasn't too bad, okay? So that's the length and capacity. You just gotta use this ML. M is for, uh, capital M is a megaliter, okay? Megaliter and kiloliter and liter and milliliter. So you're probably starting to sort of like notice that there's a smallest one is starting with a little M, you know? Mi milliliter, millimeter, something like with a milli. Yes, so a small, nice name, Millie. Okay, so next one, like so, kilo from the megaliter to kiloliter, kiloliter to liter, and the liter to milliliter is all times by a thousand, times by a thousand. Okay, so I'm not going to put it all that in, and and also if you go to the backwards, instead of timesing it you will be divided by 1,000 for each each case, okay? So that's what that is. Uh, ma mass is the same, the how heavy they are. Now, biggest one is a ton, 
okay? Tang is a capital, it's not capital T, I know it's like the biggest, but it's not. It's a little T, Tang, like um, I think we can sort of uh, weight uh, really heavy stuff like a car. You know, if you, you put cars on a big scale or something, it would be like something like a ton, you know. And then next one will be kilograms, a little kg, and the gram, and again, milligrams, a little one, baby in the family. And this is the same as ca capacity. They're all going to be times by 1,000. Okay, done times by a thousand. And then if you go to the, the other way around, it'll be divided by a thousand. So I think you really need to know here is the order of units. Which one is the biggest and the next and the which one is the smallest? I think smallest one's easy. So it's milligram, milliliter, millimeters. And the big one is like, you know, kilometer megaliter and ton. The last one, time is interesting one. Uh, we start with a day. So how many hours in a day? So next one is hour. Next one is a minute. I'm not going to write an M for minutes. I'm just going to write an M-I-N. Why? Because if I wrote M, it would be same as a meter. It would be confusing, wouldn't it? So I'm going to go minutes as a M-I-N. And second, I don't need to write a S-E-C or anything. I just write an S because none of this matrix units has S, another S, the second S in it. So just S will be S. And this one's a little bit different. So how many like hours one day equals how many hours? Of course, 24 hours. That's all right. And one hour equals how many minutes? 60 minutes. And one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So, and the process, the reverse process will be divide by. So, if I want to go from, you know, how many like seconds in a minute? You go divide by 60. And how many minutes in one hour? You will go divide by 60 as well. And how many hours? Or how many days? Sorry, how many days in one hour? Divided by 24. So did I say right? So when we go to backwards, so how many minutes in the, um, one second? You divide it by 60. How many hours in the one minute? Divided by 60. How many days in the one hour? Divided by 24. Yes, that's better. All right, so that's how you're going to do that. Oh, that's really nice looking um, diagrams there, the simplified ones. Now we're going to do some examples. So if you understood a little bit about it, that's fine because you will understand more with some examples. So I'm going to use the examples from the textbook. So examples. And first one, we are changing it to 5.8 tons, changing into something kilograms. Okay, so what would that be? Now, ton, remember, ton is the biggest on the mass. Like, you know how heavy they are? And then kilograms was, I think it was the next. So if I remember, it's a ton, kilograms, and then grams, and milligram, the baby of the family. So, and then remember, the mass and capacity is easy because everything is times by a thousand. As long as we're going from bigger to small. If it was going small to bigger, we have to divide by a thousand. So here, it's not a big deal because it's just going straight forward. 5.8 times a thousand because we're going from here to here. 
that will be times by 1000. Okay, so when we put that in, when you times by 1000, we easiest way, remember, we can use a calculator, obviously, that will be the easiest. But if you, this is in a non calculator section, and you have to work it out without using calculator, that's not too bad. This one 5.8 times 1000. There's a three zeros, isn't it? One, two, three. So that means it's going to move to the right three spaces from from the uh, decimal point. So this is a 5.8 here, and I'm going to move one, two, three, right there. So, and then I'm going to move this decimal to the end, which is right there. And I'm gonna fill out the space with the zeros, okay? So literally it becomes a five, eight zero zero okay now that decimal point is going to disappear i just put that in there so if you feel like you have to move the original decimal point to somewhere it's going to go to the end but we don't have to worry about it so now we got five thousand eight hundred as our you probably saw something else Sometimes we do jumping ones, one, two, three, like that. So for example, 5.8, and I'm gonna jump three, one, two, three, to the right, okay? Three jump, and then I'll fill the gap with zero, and that which will be 5,800, okay? So that's not too bad. Now, you. Sometimes the jumping can be a little bit confusing. So that's what I did. One, two, three. And I feel that like that will give me 5,800. Same thing. Okay. So hopefully that will make sense to you. I'm going to do the next question, which is um, B. And uh, it's a 16 kilometers to centimeters. Now I'm gonna go this quickly because kilometers to centimeters is what? We jumping to twice because it's going from kilometers to meters, centimeters and millimeters. So here is a thousand, right? Times and here, we times by 100, you see? So we have to jump twice. So this one will be 16 times 1,000 first because we have to change into meters and then going to centimeters by 100, okay? So then all you have to do is 16 and what? how many zeros there? Five, so one, two, three, four, five. Now, how do you read this number? I just separate it by comma like that, and that's 1,600,000, okay, centimeters. Ooh, I forgot that. Oh, so I'm gonna put this in a kilograms as well on the top. All right, so that's not too bad what I've done. Now, the next one, I'm gonna go to the next one. It's a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna go to the C, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this out right now. Do, 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 do. Ooh. I wanted to be hurry up a little. The next question is a milliliter. So that's the capacity. Okay. So capacity is remember, if you memorize, it's easy. Why? Because everything is thousand. So that's okay. So let's have a look at that. Mm, nearly there. Okay, I'm done. So uh, if this was a C. Okay, so I'm going to go 23,700 milliliter to, I'm going to go to litre. Mm, this is a bit tricky one. Why? Because we got megalitre, kiloliter, 
liter and we have a milliliter. Okay, so let's, okay, but we are going from backwards. So that means it divided by a thousand, isn't it? Everything is thousand. So it's divided by, because why is it small to the large? So I'm going to go 23,700 divided by thousand. Mm. Now, this will be a little bit tricky. Where is a decimal point? There is no decimal point. So what are we going to do? We are going to think that there is a decimal point right there. Okay, thinking that. And that if it's a division, we're going to move to the left. Because if it's a times, we move to the right, we're going to move to the left. So if I had that, I'm moving how many? Space three. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And my point is right there. Okay, so my answer will be 23.700, but I don't have to put two zeros at the end. So my answer is going to be 23.7 litre. Let's not forget the uh, new unit that we have. So 23.7 litre. So if you did that with the jumping way, we go from one, two, three. So your point is right there. It's going to be the same thing. Okay, so that's what that is. Now I'm going to the next one. And I have to obviously get rid of the, um, I think this might be a bit quicker. Okay. So D is the last one. D is a 1,500 minutes. Okay, it's a minute. Two, we need to change it to hour. Okay, that's not too bad. So we start with a day, hour, minute, and second. So we're going from what? Minute to hour. So you divide by 60, wasn't it? Yeah, if you didn't know, you need to go and have a look again at the diagram. So listen to this, you know, lesson, maybe I'll be watch it more than once, perhaps. Okay, so what I'm going to do is 1500 divided by 60. That's all you have to do. That would be 25, if you use a calculator, hours. So 1500 minutes equal to 25 hours. That's like more than one day. All right, so that's easy to do. Anyway, that's all that is. So make sure you do your homework and watch this video a couple of more times to, to understand better. If you have still have questions, please ask me through Google Classroom. So hopefully you can understand this. See ya, bye.